Welcome to this structure how-to video on columns and views. In this video, we'll be talking about the wide array of data you can show for JIRA issues in your structures. JIRA issues and few structure-specific items are represented in your structures as rows, while the JIRA data related to these items is shown in columns. You can add different columns to your structures and arrange them as you like. Then you can save these as views. First, let's look at columns. Columns can be added, removed, or rearranged to your liking, with the exception of the summary column, because that's where your hierarchy is displayed. Add a new column by clicking the plus icon on the far right of the column header row and selecting the type of column you want to add. Some columns will have a configuration dialog where you can specify additional parameters. You can change the column settings or remove it by clicking the arrow next to the column's name. This will open the column's configuration menu where you can adjust its settings or remove it. It's as simple as that. Structure columns can display any type of JIRA data you'd like. The simplest columns display your JIRA fields, including custom fields such as status, priority, assignee, and any field that is defined for issues in your JIRA configuration. If this field is added to the edit screen for your issue, you can double-click the cell and change the field value inside the structure. Next, let's look at totals columns, which give you an aggregate value for any numeric field in JIRA. These are calculated as the sum of the current item's field value and those of its sub-issues. You can select from one of the predefined totals columns or you can turn an existing numeric field column into a totals column. Let's take story points for example. As we select the sum over sub items checkbox, we can see the totals of hierarchies aggregated. If an issue has its own value, it's shown in light gray next to the calculated totals. This is really useful when you combine this functionality with grouping. For example, now we can easily see the story points committed per sprint as well as per epic. This can be done with most numeric fields such as estimates or time spent. Now let's take a look at progress columns. These are helpful when managing large projects by visualizing progress calculated across your entire hierarchy. For example, the progress of an epic is based on the overall progress of all stories and the other issues beneath it. Progress columns can be based on time tracking, status, or a number of other parameters, such as issue weight, depending on what your team uses for estimation and tracking. For more complex metrics, Structure offers the formula column, which uses the Exper language we developed to define formulas in a way that is similar to Excel. You can use JIRA fields for variables and perform a number of operations, including logical, numerical, operations with dates and time, duration, and so on. In fact, there are so many things you can do with formula columns, we've devoted a whole video to them. Check out the video or take a look at our online documentation to learn how to build truly powerful formulas. In addition to columns, Structure Views is another important tool for users. In Structure, a view is a collection of columns that you can save, name, and share with other users. In this example, we started with a basic group of columns, but then we modified things. You can see that our original view has a blue asterisk next to its name. This indicates that changes have been made. If someone else were to open this same view right now, they wouldn't see any of the new columns we've added. They would see the previously saved version. We can save our current layout to the current view or save it as a new view. To make your new layout public, press this button. Structure comes with several predefined views built in. You can modify them or add new ones as you see fit. One last thing before we go. You may need to see many columns at the same time. For example, when you need to compare and analyze a great deal of data for your hierarchies. To easily view all of your data, enable horizontal scrolling. You decide which columns you want to pin, which should remain scrollable, 
and the order of the pinned columns. This configuration is saved as a part of the view. Thanks for watching. Be sure you check out our other structure how-to videos.